Welcome to Half of the Shelves. My name is Kara. I'm Sonali. And this is our first episode of doing a review together. Yeah, we usually do, we usually alternate. So, like, I do a review and then she does one. But yeah, but this we're time too. we're gonna do it together because why not? Because, you know, we do podcasts together already. So, it just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So, anyway. Today, we're going to be talking about The Siren by Catherine St. John. And if you guys have been listening to our podcast so far, you know that we have done an episode on this. And not only that, the author herself, Catherine St. John, was on our podcast. How cool is that? So if you guys haven't listened to us yet, well, go ahead and click on the link below because guess what? We have her on our podcast and that is amazing. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. And so can you tell us a little bit about the book? Sure. So it's called The Siren, again, and it's about these three women who are kind of the essence of the story. There's Stella, who is the lead character in this new movie called The Siren, and she brings her assistant, Felicity, with her. Felicity is beautiful. She's almost too beautiful to be real. And so some of the other characters in the movie are kind of suspicious of her. They're wondering, is she really who she says she is? Or is she hiding something? Is she here with some other motive? So there's Stella and Felicity. And then there's Taylor, who's the producer of the movie. And Taylor is kind of the normal one. She's logical. She's not obsessed with beauty like everyone else is. And she seems more down to earth. But we find out that she also is struggling with some things in her past. And we find out more about all of their backstories and everything because each chapter is told from a different character's point of view. So it alternates between Stella Felicity and Taylor's perspectives and that's really cool because we get to we get to see like what are all of their reasons for coming to this island the whole story is told on a Caribbean island it's called Saint Genesius and so we get to see like each of them has a different reason for wanting to be in the movie or put the movie together and um and the setting is also really cool yeah, and not to mention, um, not to forget, uh, there's a male lead named Cole Power. So we don't want to spoil it for you, but he's pretty much uh, the bad guy of the movie that they're producing. And you can kind of see how where this is going. But um, yeah, so he's pretty much a villain. And then, you know, these ladies have to figure out a way to defeat the villains in their own way. And then you get to see their their reasoning their past like sonali said and then their logic on what to do next and then how they're gonna approach you know their villain so it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting book actually it's long it's about 400 pages long but i promise you you will not regret it if you get this book because it is fast paced but it's not as fast paced as like you know the typical action movie but it's not slow so I I like this book. Yeah. Um, what did you like about this book? I think the part about um, really seeing what's behind the scenes, what goes on behind closed doors in the movie industry was really cool because we, you know, like these days we see like so much on Instagram and social media and everything. But I think a lot of us are wondering like what's true and what's just people kind of faking it. And so in this book, we see that a lot of times perception isn't really what's really happening. And what are the damages that happen when we pretend to be something we're not? Like, what toll does it take on our mental health and everything? So each chapter is told from someone else's point of view. So we get to see that, like, what we think is happening isn't really what's happening. And, um, And since we have all of these different points of view. We get to really see like how complex everyone is. And it's really cool to see um, such complex female characters because that's not something you see very often. That is very true. And then female empowerment as well because these three ladies have to you know, put their differences aside and figure out what they're going to do. I mean, they all have their own reasoning. They all have their own past, but... And they all have their own doubts about each other, but, you know, they got to figure it out. 
So it's a pretty neat book on how um, how these ladies come together. I mean, Catherine does a really good job. Um, what I like about this book is actually um, the setting. I love the setting of this book. I mean, it takes place in St. Genesis Caribbean. And you know what? It feels like I'm in Caribbean myself. So that was phenomenal. And I don't know what is about Catherine's writing, but I just felt like I'm on a vacation uh, with you know, along with this character, except I'm not going through whatever they're going through. Hopefully, I would never go through what they're going through. So, yeah. <laughs> that would be quite something. If you were the star oh. in a movie and then you had to fight a male villain. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't think I want to be a, a movie star. Maybe, who knows? I mean, if Hollywood is looking, I'm available, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, she, Catherine St. John, um, we got to hear more about her writing process, too, on our podcast, which is really awesome. She she um, talked about, like, who she identified most with in the book and, like, how she plans everything out or doesn't. You get to find out. If you check out the interview. Yeah. And then if you want to hear more of our thoughts on this book, go ahead and check out the link below because we go far in depth. And do you have anything that you don't like about this book? No, I thought this, the siren was amazing and I would reread it. I think it, it talks, it like gives this great um, message about like me too, um, female empowerment and, um, and it's such a page turner. So if you're looking for something to like get sucked into, that'll keep you busy for like a few days or something. Oh it's yeah, a good, it's a good choice. Oh yeah, I mean she did start writing this around that Me Too movement, and I mean Me Too movement is still going on, obviously. But she started writing around that time, so a lot of elements are in this book, which is great. And you know, um, we I actually asked her on the podcast, like, has anybody approached her? After writing this book, like, oh, I went through the same thing as your characters went through. And then you won't believe what she says. So definitely check out our podcast for that. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And yeah, but aside from that, I mean, answering the question, do I have anything that I don't like? No, I mean, it was really, really good. I I remember binge reading it and I just, I think I binge read it in like two days. So mm. it was quite a bit of reading I remember the whole night from like dinner time you know what like six seven until like midnight I was reading that book I liked it I liked it any um and what star how many stars would you give I was a three five yeah same same yeah same. just like the way that everything comes together and like all of the different perspectives and everything that was really cool yeah and the cover oh my gosh the cover is phenomenal it's such a pretty cover and you know honestly I thought it was just going to be a very light book like I didn't think that was going to be a, a page turner and I thought being 400 pages was going to be a little slow but nope I was wrong and I'm so glad that I was wrong I will tell you that much Mm-hmm. well that is it for us and if you guys haven't listened to our podcast go ahead and check it out and if you want to listen to Catherine St. John herself talk about her book her writing process go ahead and check out our podcast and give some love to her I mean she does an amazing job oh and and her new book is coming out soon yeah so mm-hmm. you know keep in we'll tune for that excited. oh yeah we'll be so excited all right guys see you next time bye